and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. I'm Ruben and I'm reviewing Only the Brave. So Only the Brave is directed by Joseph Kinski who gave us films like this, Oblivion, and like this, Tron, which is very sci-fi and this film is not. <laughs> One piece of me, come and get it. It's actually based on a GQ article um, that came out a few years ago about the incidents of these massive wildfires. It's gonna feel like the end of the world. Only the Brave is about a group of firefighters known as the Granite Mountain Hotshots who must brave the wildfires to protect their hometown. The, the film's theme is, is a group of second-class firefighters and um, they've yet to um, get their license to become what is known as the Hotshots and uh, they've been fighting this for few years and what they really want is to have that label as hotshots because that babes basically gives them lead to protect their town and to be firefighters on the front lines and the front level as best as they can and they can basically go and do what they need to do without all the red tape in between you know what we're training for hotshots get to engage the fire directly this film will haunt you for hours afterwards uh, i i made the mistake of watching it late at night because there's only a few screenings of it so if you are gonna go and watch it i would say watch it as soon as you can because they well in the uk there seems to be only very few um screenings of this film i was lucky enough to catch one with my son uh, my 12 year old son ethan who i thought it'd be interesting to get his perspective as well he loves the sort of science of um, firefighters and firefighters fighting fire with fire as long as you can breathe you can survive uh, so we went and watched this film together and we came away asking questions at the end of the film um, and then the no next morning we were still asking questions because this film is basically a character study of what it is to be a hero it's it, what it is what it means to be a real hero and so you've got um, actors like Josh Brolin who is fantastic in this setting you know real gritty kind of gruff hero guy um, who can play a grieved person with the past without you having to know what his past is. So he um, has to look after his crew. He's kind of the surrogate father to these guys. Why I say this film is a character study of what it means to be a hero, because this film um, doesn't look at fire as the theme. It looks at um, individual characters uh, drawn together and what it means to be a firefighter. So it tackles really big subjects. One is redemption. Miles Tyler plays a drug addict and he's had a had a, a fling with a girl and um, he wants to join this group of firefighters and become a firefighter to redeem himself because the, the girl that he was going out with, he knocked up and got her pregnant and suddenly there's this switch in his brain that he knows that he needs to step up. And so you've got all these different walks of life coming together um, and the film doesn't ever shy away from spending time with each character. Um, I think the trailers can be a bit misleading because it looks like this, you know, full on action. It does give, give you an inkling that there's a lot of story there. I mean, you could go into this film thinking that it's Twister, but with fire. And there is elements of that. There, there is some amazing scenes, some amazing cinematography with a uh, big fire. There's a particular story that the firefighter captain tells about a bear that he sees as the most beautiful and terrifying thing he's ever seen with, with the bears running through the forest and on fire. And it is majestic and awesome and terrifying, like you said. But it's not Twister with fire. It's a character study on what it means to be heroes, but it follows each of the characters coming together to f to to form this team. Um, I didn't actually know anything about the, the true life story. So it is a true life story. And I didn't know um, what was going to happen in the end. And I would say don't go and research it because it's, it'll impact you more. So as I said, Josh Brolin uh, plays the firefight captain. You've got amazing other characters. You've got Jeff Bridges, who is um, another kind of grandfather figure in this. You get to see Jeff Bridges do um, a little number on his guitar and hearing Jeff Bridges sing just kind of sets the tone um, for it's like a Western firefighter um, hero uh, or anti-hero uh, story. But it really, the, where this film shines 
is um, where it settles on the relationships developing in the background. So like I said, it asks big questions. How are relationships affected uh, with a man that is obsessed with fire or protecting his town? But essentially, they're adrenaline junkies. So Jennifer Connelly plays uh, Josh Brolin's wife, and she has her own whole story of how she looks after horses. And I haven't seen Jennifer Connelly this good for a long time. I totally bought their relationship, Josh Brolin and Jennifer Connelly, their relationship. Um, it, you know, she she wants to have children. She never sees sees her husband because, like she mentions, I haven't seen you one day in a month, and even that day you were sleeping. So there, there's real deep um, hurt in the relationship, and you get that. And a lot of that is not even told. It's just by the way they've acted it on screen. And this is also shown in in the, in the various characters. Um, dotted throughout the fire team. Um, Take this little stinker. He's not a stinker. Bye. Bye. Tyler Keish is a, another guy that you immediately f you are drawn to, want to hate. He's like the, the bully. I think this is yours. <laughs> of um, the team, but eventually he um, is developed, and, and this is what I really like. They, they because they're it's they're they're studying or what it means to be a hero. They take their time on each character um, of the team, and meanwhile, in the background, the film, and I think this is due to very clever direction, the tone of the film is building up to a crescendo, and so you feel uneasy almost throughout the whole film. You know something's gonna go wrong. Um, you get the occasional fires that they have to fight and they have to meet some, you know, deadly... They have to deal with some deadly situations. Come on! Until the, the climax at the end. And man, the end payoff, I wouldn't say it's worth it, but it, it, it is worth it as a story. But it hits you so hard because they've spent so much time developing their characters. And by the time you leave the cinema, it, it, it will hit you. I mean, I was we weren't crying. But we were emotionally affected. Um, this film has done a great job at honouring those in service, especially obviously in firefighting. And it shows you the reality of what their job is. It doesn't shy away from the, the, the nitty gritty um, of what life is, but it also shows you it, it shows you both sides of the world and what it means to be that sort of um, hero and how it affects those around them. Um, it's fantastically directed. The, the acting is superb. It's phenomenal. The story has done great honor to the real story. And again, in the credits, I would say stay for a five minutes in the end of the, the film because it shows you the real life actors and characters and shows you who they were in the team. And that just helps cement even more emotionally um, the situations um, the situations that they had to go through and what they had to do to protect their town and so it gives a new meaning to the word hero this film because in the world of where we have thousands of superhero films this shows what it actually means to be a hero and so I'm gonna put this film in Gawesome because it's great and awesome great and awesome awesome I haven't come across a film that makes you think so much afterwards in a long time it's Get to work. Come on, let's go. Even though it's long and they spent lots of time on the characters, I didn't ever ask myself when this film was ending. I kind of went, I, I did ask myself, oh, what's going to happen at the end? Um, so well worth your time and worth seeing. If you can, go and catch it at the cinema. Thanks for watching this Ruby Tuesday uh, review. We've got more coming out. Um, we're looking forward to doing the Justice League in a couple of days. Bye.